BBC has been blasted by viewers for editing and sometimes altogether cutting scenes from classic shows over fears of them containing racial slurs and misogynistic views. An anonymous radio listener suggested the BBC have been editing the comedies to remove jokes that they deem as politically insensitive. GB News hosts Stephen Dixon, and Anne Diamond also had their views on the topic, both disagreeing with the actions the BBC have taken. Repeats of classic comedy episodes such as Dad's Army, Steptoe and Sons and I'm Sorry I'll Read That Again, have reportedly had jokes and sometimes full sketches removed by the broadcaster. Edits have been made to programs over several years to remove content likely now to be considered racist or misogynistic. An anonymous Radio 4 Extra listener documented the changes, which they described as woke cuts, with references to disgraces former BBC stars Rolf Harris and Jimmy Seville being removed. A spokesperson for the BBC confirmed to The Times, we added some episodes so they're suitable for broadcast today, including removing racially offensive language and stereotypes from decades ago, as the vast majority of our audience would expect. Last year, a listener complained about the edits being made by the BBC, saying audiences should make up their own minds about what might be offensive. Express.co.uk contacted the BBC for a statement to which they said, Listeners enjoy a huge number of old comedies from the archives on 4 Extra and on occasion, we edit some episodes so they're suitable for broadcast today, including removing racially offensive language and stereotypes from decades ago, as the vast majority of our audience would expect. Discussing the story on GB, presenter Stephen Dixon said, I'm not quite sure what I think of this, the BBC has been editing classic radio comedies from its archive to remove racially insensitive and politically incorrect jokes. And Diamond said, I think of shows like Dad's Army, Steptoe and Son on BBC Radio 4 Extra, they've been altered sometimes to remove entire sketches. According to an anonymous Radio 4, extra listener edits have been made to programs over several years to remove content likely considered racist or misogynistic. Now I don't know if I agree with this or not, Stephen stated, I listen to Radio 4 Extra because I like the sort of comedies. But when there is stuff coming up, they have said in the past this contains material which was to which Anne interjected and said, appropriate at the time but isn't now. To change them, I think sometimes you listen to things, and you think that wouldn't be allowed nowadays, and it is insensitive. Stephen turned to Anne and asked, but if you listen to it within the context of when it was set does it matter? Immediately Anne chimed, yeah, I think it does, if you watch an episode of, say, omnibuses or something like that, it is appalling the way men treated women and the things they said about them. The misogyny was appalling, but it was deemed funny then, and it sort of is awkward now, I think, why don't the BBC just make new programs instead of editing the old ones? Sketch show I'm sorry, I'll read that again, starring John Cleese was reportedly hit by many of the alterations, with a repeat of a 1970 episode being edited to remove a joke said by Cleese about scantily dressed women on top of the pops. A racial slur was removed from a 1972 episode of Ronnie Barker's sketch show lines from my grandfather's forehead, while a line containing racial stereotyping was also stripped from a 1974 Dad's Army episode. BBC streaming service BritBox has also begun to issue warnings at the beginning of shows such as The Catherine Tate Show and Midsummer Murders to inform viewers there may be themes that some may find offensive. When viewers tune in to stream a show on BritBox, they are met with a warning that reads, contains adult humor, sex references and homophobic and racist language that may offend. 
A spokesman for BritBox told the Daily Star, we review and refresh BritBox's program catalog on an ongoing basis. Programming on the service that contains potentially sensitive language or attitudes of their era have carried appropriate warnings since our launch in November 2019. To ensure the right guidance is in place for viewers who are choosing to watch on demand.